Mankind does improvise. We have a skeleton. We have sort of like, oh, then we'll get to that underwater part, you know, and how it happens uh, will be different every time, but there is a structure there s somewhat. But, it, you know, the funny thing about improvisation, and this is great because, uh, you know, generally you arm yourself with a lot of tools, right? And then you'll finish the show and it'll be like, yeah, that was great. And you'll remember that you totally forgot to do this one section that was probably your most rehearsed part, you know, that, that was like your ace in the hole and you completely forgot it. Like, so at our show at the Sala, we had this great finale. We had this great finale planned. And, and, and Kim had been concerned that the show was going to be too short, and I was like, no, when you get into the improvisation thing, like, you know, five minutes can seem like a half hour and vice versa. So at one point, I think things were going well, and at one point I look over at her and I'm like, we've been on for an hour and ten minutes. Because <laughs> she thought, oh no, 40 minutes, it's going to be too short. And, she, and so she just took, she just was like, oh, and then turned everything off. And then people started to applaud, and then it was like, wait, wait, that's not what I meant. You know, but it was too late to kind of like go back in and be like, and now, da, 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 the finale, you know. So, so you have to roll with the punches, you know. And I think that's, that's the point of it. Like, we have a manifesto, and if I had it memorized, I would tell you it, but I don't. And it's basically that um, comfort perplexes us and that we strive for imperfection, you know, so. So it's for bound to win.